While being king of Wakanda, T'Challa takes on the mantle of Black Panther. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. A mantle passed from warrior to warrior. Chadwick Boseman was an excellent actor and was known for many iconic films. After taking the role of Black Panther and giving an outstanding performance, All of you are wrong! To turn your backs on the rest of the world! Chadwick was not only seen as a hero in films, but also one in real life, as many looked up to him. Long live the king, and may he rest in peace. Chadwick forever. Dead. It's not the end. To find out how his character has evolved in the decades, let's go through the evolution of Black Panther. His first debut in films is in the second Ultimate Avengers. After his father is killed by Kleiser, an alien Nazi officer, T'Challa becomes the Black Panther and seeks Captain America to learn how to destroy him. You can't. Why? Because I've killed him twice, and he always comes back. When Kleiser attacks Wakanda, T'Challa fights him, and with Captain America, they trap him in liquid vibranium. In Heroes of Tomorrow, Tony tells the tale of the Avengers to their children and says that after there was peace, Black Panther married Storm. They later had a son named Azari, but when Ultron attacked the Avengers, Black Panther was killed, and Azari was sent away with the other children. In Civil War, T'Challa seeks revenge on Bucky after believing he killed his father. He then hunts Bucky as a Black Panther and later joins Iron Man, which results in him fighting Captain America's team. We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. I don't care. After discovering Bucky didn't kill his father, he comes to a realization. Vengeance has consumed you. I'm done letting it consume me. In the post credits, he keeps Bucky in Wakanda so his scientists can remove his brainwashing. In Black Panther, T'Challa returns to Wakanda to become king and defeats Mumbaku in ritual combat. He then travels to South Korea with his new suit to catch Claw. But after catching him, his cousin Killmonger kills him, takes his body to Wakanda, and challenges T'Challa for the throne. T'Challa loses the fight, but is saved by Mumbaku, so then he returns and as you can see, I am not dead to fight Killmonger. After defeating him, he decides to reveal the real Wakanda to the United Nations. And for the first time in our history, we will be sharing our knowledge and resources with the outside world. In Avengers Infinity War, T'Challa gives Bucky a new arm, and once the Avengers arrive in Wakanda to remove Vision Stone, he gives orders to prepare to fight. Evacuate the city, engage all defenses, and get this man a shield. After talking with the enemy, he then leads his people and the Avengers into battle. We then see him fight an army, but when Thanos uses the stones to wipe out half of all life, T'Challa disintegrates. In trouble in Wakanda, T'Challa goes public as Black Panther after giving his speech to the UN. We must all work together to protect our world from those who would seek to destroy it. When Thanos attacks Earth, he gets defeated, but later teams up with Claw and Killmonger to steal Vibranium from Wakanda. Black Panther and the Avengers then fight a Vibranium-powered Thanos. In Endgame, the remaining heroes retrieve the Infinity Stones and Bruce uses them to bring everyone back. When Thanos attacks with his army, Black Panther arrives through a portal and joins other heroes in fighting and keeping the stones away from him. After Tony's death, we see T'Challa at his funeral but also kneel to honor him in a deleted scene.
And that concludes the evolutions of Black Panther. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, and following me on Instagram for video updates.